Um, so today I will be showing you guys how to make it is the meat pie stuff. Yeah, it's a Nigerian delicacy. A lot of Nigerian love meat pie. Because when you talk about meat, you're like, mm, mm, mm. oh my gosh. Yeah, so today we're doing, I'm showing sure you guys how to make a meat pie stuff. Okay, in case you want to make meat. Stay tuned. The ingredients we'll be using for the uh, uh, meat pie stuffing is we're using minced meat. This is British lean steak minced meat. You can buy this from any food store. You can also get it from your butchers as well. So yeah, I got this from, from Tesco. So you can also get it from Asda, Sainsbury's, Costco, Waitrose, Morrison and so on and so forth. Yeah, so we're using the British lean minced meat. Then we'll also be using the carrot. So this is a chopped diced carrot. We'll be using um, potato. Nigerians will call it Irish potato. But it's potato. Then um, it's also chopped, washed and diced. We'll be using um, onions as well. Chopped onions. Fresh pepper, you know, I love my things hot and nice, you know, so I can sink in. Um, we're using extra virgin olive oil. You can use this, we use this to fry the onions and the meat maybe, you can decide not to. Yeah, but extra virgin olive oil, yeah, that's the key. And our seasoning, like our maggi, our salt, also ginger, garlic. Thyme, curry, uh, no cubes, and stock cubes, and salt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, we'll put the pot um, on a hub, electric hub. Then we'll add a little bit of um, like a, about a spoon, a teaspoon of um, extra virgin olive oil. Because we're trying to make it as healthy as possible. Then we'll add our onions. We'll just put gener generously add our onions. Then we'll stir it up or like to fry for a bit. So while this is frying, um, as you can see, it really smells nice and the smell is beginning to make my tummy dance and fly. Then we'll add some um, red bell pepper. Then we'll add some fresh pepper, which is scotch bonnet. A bit. Then we we'll just mix that together. As you can see, oh, it's really smelling nice, man. I'm so hungry right now. Then we'll add our carrot. Yeah, sorry, I have to change the pot because it was a bit too small. Then we'll mix it up. Then we'll add our potato. A lot of might disagree to my own process of making the stuffing, but anyways, you go with whatever suits best for you. Then you mix it up. Make sure it's well blended together. Then we'll add our ginger and garlic to it. You know, it's always good to add some healthy, healthy flavor. 
ninja arrow got the hat as hell the brain effect so it's good to have it so it's I love my disagree but anyway it's up to you to add our salt and three cubes of maggie teaspoon of curry powder some paprika thyme and some mixed herbs we'll mix them together as well We just continue stirring it until it's like you can see it's getting there. Then we'll add our paprika. The paprika is really good. Paprika. Some thyme. Mix herbs. A bit of pepper. and just stir it up then we'll check on our veg to see the process of it getting there so we just allow it to cook I will put this one aside I like to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes yeah and so we'll check our um, veg like carrots and potatoes to see how it's done mmm the aroma really smells nice as you can see it has so much loving goodness in it Then we'll pick it up on the fire because it's already cooked enough. Okay. Now we'll go back to our um, minced meat. As you can see, they beat dried up. So we'll add a bit of water to it. Yeah. That bit of water. Then we'll add our mixed verge, verge and potato to it. Then we'll add some of the water to it as well to help the thickness of the stuffing. Okay. And we'll stir it up. Okay. 
We feel the veg is not enough. Then we add more veg. So a lot of people add um they mix like flour and water and add it to it to make it be like soggy and mushy mushy and stuff like that. But well, we don't want that for our our stuffing. So I feel this is enough. This is just the right intensity. You can see everything is all in place. You can add that if you want to, but I'm not adding it. I prefer it this way because you can see the carrot and the potato and the meat and the onions. Yeah. Nice. So we just transfer it to a bowl. Just reduce of the light on it. So first put the flour on the mat on the rolling pin. Coat the paste with the flour and then we roll and we're gonna make it. Use a round container to make circles. Put it on the side, then we'll coat the base. about a spoon or thereabouts to so one corner then fold and turn Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up and comment for any more Nigerian delicacy.